Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mark Taimanov and Hermann Steiner. This game was played in Stockholm in 1952. Mark Taimanov had white pieces and he started with d4. Hermann Steiner played d5. c4, queen's gambit. e6, queen's gambit declined. Knight to c3, c6, going for semi-slav defense. e4, going for martial gambit. d takes on e4. d takes on c4 is a less popular continuation. After bishop takes on c4, white is already better. So we have d takes on e4. Knight takes on e4. Bishop to b4, check. White to move. Taimano played bishop to d2. If knight to c3, then the two most popular moves are knight to f6 and c5. So, Taimano played bishop to d2. Queen takes pawn on d4. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes on e4, check. Bishop to e2. Knight to a6, attacking the bishop. Bishop to d6. White. Dark square bishop is acting like a star of dark squares. Black to move. Bishop to d7 was played. Queen takes pawn on g2 is the most played move in this position. And after that, white usually plays queen to d2, allowing queen takes rook. Most of the time, black plays knight to f6. Queen to h1 is not very popular move. After castling queenside, white has excellent compensation for sacrifice material. Back to our game. Bishop to d7 was played. Knight to f3. c5. Knight to e5, setting a little trap. If queen takes on g2, then bishop to f3, for example. So, Hermann Steiner played bishop to c6, knight takes on c6, pawn takes knight, if queen takes on c6, bishop to f3, b takes on c6, and Mark Taimanov castled kingside. After 13 moves have been played, black has a difficult position. Knight to e7 was played. Castling queenside is not a good idea, because of bishop to f3 attacking the queen, and after something like queen takes on c4, bishop to e2, and white is winning. So we have knight to e7, queen to a4, attacking the knight, knight to b4, bishop takes on c5, a5, defending the knight, bishop to f3, attacking the queen, queen to c2. Stena thought if he can exchange queens, his position would be 66% easier to play. That's what he thought. Tamano played b3. Rook to c8. Queen takes pawn on a5. After 18 moves have been played, white is much better. White is a pawn up, has a bishop pair, and black has a problem castling, because then he loses the knight. Knight to d3, attacking the bishop on c5. Bishop to e4, pinning the knight. At this stage, Steiner was thinking. You know what he was thinking about? He was thinking, gosh, they told me I will play against a piano player, and I don't know he can play chess too. And I hope that this will not be shown on YouTube in the future. Sorry, mate. Queen, <laughs> Queen to e2 was played. Bishop takes knight. Queen takes on d3. Rook from a to d while attacking the queen. Queen to f5. White played the move and black resigned. Can you guess the move? Queen to b4 is also winning. Queen to a7 was played. Black resigned. In this very difficult position, castling is actually the best move, but then, but then queen takes knight. And we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.